Hello, welcome to Foreign Matters, titled Show Me the Money, Show Me the War. It's a quid pro quo, or as the action is in DC, perhaps a dollar quo pro. The Pakistani president, Asif Ali Zadari, is in Washington to make sure President Obama comes up with seven and a half billion dollars in non-military aid. President Obama wants to make sure that Zadari comes up with the Pakistani army to defeat the Taliban. You can't be too careful in these times of economic downturn and jihad. There was an inauspicious start to the three-day visit. Knowing that Congress controls the purse strings, the Pakistani leader sought to reassure the House Foreign Affairs Committee that it could be confident that not only would he spend the money wisely, but that the military aid he wants would also be put to good use. Exhibit 1 for his case, the beginning of the offensive in SWAT this week, designed to tell the Americans we mean business. According to the New York Times, the private committee meeting didn't go so well. It quotes an unnamed senator as saying they were left confused and disappointed, and that Mr. Zadari had said little about how his government was going to win this war. On matters such as these, the Times can usually be trusted to get it right. The American government is one of the leakiest in the Western world, and you can be crushed in the rush out of committee rooms as senators, congressmen and women tumble through doors to be the first to get their non-attributable quotes to the Times and to the Washington Post. In public, Obama's administration is queuing up to support Mr. Zadari. The thinking in Washington and London is that there's no alternative and that neither the opposition leader, Nawaz Sharif, nor the army chief, Ashkaf Kayani, are interested in taking over what might be a poison chalice, the leadership of a country struggling to keep itself together. Mr. Obama wants to ensure that the Pakistanis stop pointing 500,000 soldiers at the Indian border and start pointing them at the Taliban and training them to fight a proper counterinsurgency war. Hence, Mr. Zadari gets three 30-minute meetings with President Obama, which is a lot. And one of them is a trilateral, which is a posh term for three people in a room talking to each other. And the third man in this case is President Karzai of Afghanistan. Zadari also has 30 minutes with Hillary Clinton, which is also a lot, especially if you're Bill Clinton. But that's another story. And that's foreign matters.